Hello, Archie Boy here after a pretty long break. I'll now be focusing on Nintendo based content, mainly Smash Bros and Mario Kart. Maybe Mario Maker. But the topic of this video today is to make reasonable goals to work towards going to a small weekly tourney in your area or to improve in general. First off, you need to specialise on one character. If it is your ambition to do well, you need to stop playing four characters and focus on one or two maximum. But why, Archie? That's lame, I hear you say. Well, if you want to strive to improve, you have to focus on one character. Finding a main can be a weird and difficult process for some people. My main used to be Samus, and let me tell you, I absolutely sucked. I just used projectiles way too much, I couldn't land an area to save my life, and it always rolled and never grabbed. Then randomly, my friends and I were playing at school when suddenly I decided to pick random. I landed on Wii Fit Trainer and 3 stopped them. My point is, be prepared to switch mains in the early days. But this is important, don't switch around too much. Some of my friends just love playing around with the Smasher Profile bot on Discord, and they change their main in secondary every two days most of the time. Pros can switch around because they have been playing the game for a long time, and are experienced in most character archetypes. So, find Main. At this stage, many early smashers want to try out their skills on the global stage. They have seen the pros with their high DSP and cool plays, so they hop onto quick play and immediately get thrashed. My advice? Don't do this. Seriously, this is the worst possible way to practice playing smash. People online fall into these few categories and every single one of them is just trying to win. The try hard tries to get into elite smash with a new character and you'll be absolutely crushed by slick combos and cool plays. The items user will use items for a cheap win. The smurfer, stomping on new players and probably laughing their head off when you lose. The new player, just like you, won't teach you anything, just bad habits that won't that will prevent your victory. So you'll probably feel pretty bad about yourself. Maybe even go do something else. I got youtube.com slash Archie Boy. But if you really want to get better, you have to persist and use your time wisely. What I want you to do now is to go to www.smashcords.com and look for the Discord that's for your character. For example, I'd go to the Wii Fit Trainer Discord, which I'm in right now. Shout out to you guys. And also join the Discord for my local Smash scene, which is Melbourne, in Australia. Join these, because by playing for members in this Discord and simply being there, will give you infinite access to friendly players who will be willing to train you and make you better. In my character's Discord, I can find information on combos, techniques, hit cancel, which is the attribute of Wii's gameplay, matchup charts to find who your character is strong or weak against, and maybe even events and tournaments within. Now that you've selected the character and undergone at least a decent amount of training from the members in your character's Discord and just have, and just have no the basic smash techniques, it's time to set some goals. The best goals come from training offline with CPUs. First off, being a Wi-Fi warrior is not optimal, as it will get you used to playing a slow smash ultimate that will alienate you when you go to your first tournament. It's also the best way to train if you're watching this through this difficult time. But, quick play stuff still applies here. What I mean by this is know your limits. You will only be disappointed by your failures rather than be proud of your victories. A good goal is to start with a good goal to start with, with is winning against a level 4 or level 5 CPU. These will be about the same level as you, so it is good offline practice. First, win a battle. Then two stock them. Then three stock them. Do it with every character on the roster. Then upgrade to level 6. Then level 7. Go all the way to level 8. Then, I want you to quick, go quickly and test out your new skills. Are you much better? Did you even win a couple of matches? Feel good about yourself now. You've improved so much. Look at you go. Now, take a break. Yeah, you heard me. The best thing to do now is to take a relaxing break. Leave Smash on a high note. Chill for two days. This helps you reset, be happy, and be ready to improve once more. Go to level 9 CPU. Do it, I believe in you. I'm doing this myself by the way. 
I've known and experienced losers like myself and I'm making it so others don't fall into the same traps. that I have. Do it. Come on. I believe in you. Do it. Level 9 CPU 3 stock. Come on. Do it on legal stages too. You can find a legal stage list just by searching up in Google. Now, find a tournament to enter. Your first one should, pref should preferably be easy to travel to, either by public transport, or by a parent's agreement, or you having a car, or even walking. Your first one should also be low cost if not free. Things to bring are some food, because since likely there won't be any to eat there, the controller which is most comfortable for you. I use dual joygons because I am a new generation Smash 4 and Ultimate player and don't prefer to use GameCube controllers, like the many Melee and Brawl veterans. I repeat, you do not need to use GameCube controllers. They are a good option, sure, but you don't need to use them to be amazing at the game, okay? Make sure to take a shower before going. You don't want to make the tournament any more smelly than it already is. This is just a basic guide and a change to my content. I I sincerely hope to help you today to set a goal and to go to a tournament. Oh,